Welcome. Welcome to our holiday concert. This our 30th year of doing holiday concerts. This is a big year for us. We hope to have all kinds of celebrations. Of course, those have changed a bit with the happenings of 2020, but we're very excited to still bring you our holiday concert this afternoon. Recent numbers says there are over 2,000 of you viewing this concert, and we are honored that you've decided to join us for this special day. Those in the Raleigh area have, uh, have been through lots of different venues where we do our holiday concerts, from Peace College Recital Hall to uh, Jones Auditorium at Meredith College, NC State Stewart Theater, and of course, Mamandi Hall is where we've been for quite a few years. But today we bring you to probably the most comfortable spot, I think, over the years, uh, as far as a venue goes, and that is your home. So we hope you are comfortable, we hope you're healthy, and we're certainly here to wish you a Merry Christmas. Uh, this has been, as for all of us, a very, very challenging year. Um, everybody asks us the very first question, what have we been doing? And, and we've been doing a lot of organizational things, not a lot of ringing. Um, but we have gotten some things together organizational wise. We did do a little ringing towards the end of the year, um, and we'll talk about that uh, later in the program. Um, but today's program will be a mix of, of some videos, some introductions that are done live today. Um, very fortunate that you don't have to hear me as you normally do in concerts. You will hear a lot of the ringers and some alumni doing some of these introductions where typically they are very busy setting up for the next piece. They won't be as busy today, so they're helping me out with some of these intros. Um, most of the selections today are, of course, from Amandi Hall, where we've been doing our concerts for lots and lots of years. There are two exceptions. As I mentioned, uh, towards the end of the program, uh, we do have one piece that we recorded this year, socially distant from our building, and um, we're excited about that, and we'll tell you lots about that as we get to that. And then there's the very next piece, which is uh, we decided to go back in history. So this is 29 years ago uh, from Peace College Recital Hall. And uh, one of our very favorite arrangers, Karen Buckwalter, uh, arranged this next piece. And we've been playing this for, for lots and lots of years. This is her arrangement of I Wonder As I Wander.
By the way, feel free to, uh, to comment uh, as we go along in YouTube. Uh, I'm not following those, but several folks in the group are following those and will respond as we can. I'm sure I can imagine some of the comments from, from that last video, um, probably some comments about how we probably uh, did a lot of recruiting of younger ringers back in 1991 based on, based on that video, and probably some comments about how far our video technology has come uh, over the years. So um, next I'm going to turn it over to Angie Chiatello, who will do our next introduction. Angie. Hey everyone, as Dave said, I'm Angie. I've been in the group for 10 seasons. And as he mentioned, this is our 30th anniversary year. It's a little bit different than we thought, but we hope that you have enjoyed the photos and the videos on Facebook that we've been sharing. Since the group started, there have been 103 members of the Raleigh Ringers. They've done a variety of tasks outside of ringing, including fundraising, some of that being bake sales, car washes, soliciting donations, and a variety of other things. Our original set was the mall marks that were on loan to us from Mallmark. We eventually paid those off. And then in 1994, we started what would become a hallmark of the group, acquiring different types of bells to enhance our performances. We applied for and received a grant from the city of Raleigh, and we had many generous donations, and we were able to purchase a set of Whitechapel henbells. Here's an excerpt from their debut in our 1994 concert, playing Carl Wiltsey's Low How a Rose Air Blooming. I don't know about you, but I love hearing the origins of the group and seeing some of these videos from the past and knowing how much work those original um, charter members put into this group is just really astounding because everything we have now and everything I've had for the 10 seasons I've been with the group comes from that hard work and dedication of those people. Another group of people we have much to thank for is our donors. So after we got the White Chapels in 1995, we started a formal donor program, which we call the Friends of the Raleigh Ringers. You've helped us purchase equipment, vehicles, you helped send us to Europe twice, and this year especially, you helped us to meet operational costs. On behalf of Raleigh Ringers, past and present, thank you. Your support helps to fulfill our mission to promote the art of handbell ringing, and we cannot do it without you. If you aren't currently a supporter, I'd like to ask you to consider becoming a 2021 season supporter. Every gift, small and large helps, but starting at $100, there are some perks in there for you. There's a link below the screen where you can donate online. You can make a one-time donation, set up a recurring donation, or make a pledge. All the info is out there for everything that you need. In addition, there's some information on tax incentives that were part of the CARES Act that were passed this past March. Um, whether you itemize or don't, there's some information in there for things that might apply to you and maybe encourage you to make a donation to our nonprofit. For our next song, I'm taking you to Bill Griffin's transcription of a Nutcracker favorite, Trey Pock. And sometimes things in our rehearsals happen or things come about where we can add some extra fun into our concerts. For this particular one, there was a high bell, I think it was a D8 that needed to be shaken, but there weren't any extra hands in the treble to do that. So one of our bass ringers stepped in, and as bass ringers are apt to do, they made quite a production of it. We hope you enjoy this rendition of Trey Pock.
Certainly thank uh, Bill Griffin for that arrangement. Bill's a great friend of the Raleigh Ringers, and uh, we enjoy doing demonstration recordings with, with Bill in Raleigh a couple times a year for Beck and Horse. So thank you, Bill, for that. Next, we're going to turn uh, the microphone over to Lauren Housley, who's going to introduce, introduce the next piece. I was not expecting the hat. Uh, so this next piece uh, is one that, I'm sorry, hi, I'm Lauren Housley. This is my uh, I was really excited when I moved to Raleigh that I could potentially join the Raleigh Ringers and uh, had a great time the past couple of years. This year was different, of course, but it's still a lot of fun to be connected with these people and be playing with them. So this next piece um, is by Hart Morris, who does uh, a lot of our TSO arrangements and a lot of really interesting and different stuff for the group. And hi, Hart. I saw you were watching in the comments. Um, but this one is special because he wrote it for us, and it is an arrangement of the 12 Days of Christmas. Now, one of the problems with the 12 Days of Christmas when you play it on handbells, though, is that there's no music. So you don't have any, like, feedback of uh, where in the song you are. But Hart came up with a really clever way to help you see where you are in the song, both by using musical cues and sometimes by using percussion instruments. And our favorite one is the Calling Birds, which is this little device right here. <laughs> it's very loud. <laughs> Uh, so I, I hope you enjoy this piece, uh, this rendition of the 12 Days of Christmas, and that you uh, can follow along with the different cues, both uh, musical and percussion. Uh, and of course, this is from our 2017 show, 2018 show, sorry, 2018 show, um, when we were lucky enough to have Hart there with us to help us play every percussion instrument in the building. This is the Bell Days of Christmas.
As Lauren mentioned, it was an incredible honor to have Hart and Marty with us that year. Um, filled our, our program with lots and lots of his great arrangements. Uh, that particular one, though, um, many of us that are listening that were part of that performance remember it was quite a monster of a piece. People ask us about our rehearsals, and uh, that actually is one of two pieces that we ended up spending an entire three and a half hour rehearsal on that particular piece. Uh, thanks to Hart. And the other piece, by the way, is Armed Forces Medley. Seems that was also arranged by Hart. So Hart's out there, I know. Thank you for all you've given us. And uh, at this point, I'm going to turn it over to alumni, RR alumni, Jay Carter. Thanks, Dave. Yeah, so I met Sandy Ethan, the composer of our next piece, or the arranger of our next piece, in 2012 at the Capitol Harry Handbell Festival. Uh, we talked a bit that day and I was learning about handbells and arranging. So she agreed to stay in touch and mentor me a little bit. And to say she's been an informative influence for me is an understatement because I'd never be here without her. She's a reference and most importantly, a big encouragement for me getting into advanced handbell ringing. And I'm forever grateful. She's just an amazing lady. If you need to know one thing about Sandy, it's that she's amazing. If you need to know a second thing, she's an enormous Green Bay Packers fan. An absolutely enormous cheese head. So we'll go with that. Thanks, Sandy. And if you need to know a third thing, she writes just beautiful, beautiful music. Unbelievable stuff. She's done five arrangements for the Raleigh Ringers of Christmas pieces. Three of them we got to play for her last year when she was at our concert, Savior of the Nations Come, A Holy Night, and Twas in the Moon of Wintertime. 
but Holy Night is probably the most beautiful handbell arrangement I've ever heard. Uh, the fourth piece, Coventry Carol, might be the most fun I've ever had with a bass bell assignment and the other contingent contender for most beautiful arrangement. And last, but certainly not least, this next piece, just a gorgeous treatment of It Came Upon a Midnight Clear. Oh, I, it seems we might have a special guest today. Um, San, is Sandy out there? Is she going to join us? You're kidding. I there am. She is. <laughs> I am out here. Hi, Jay. Hi, Dave. <laughs> How are you? It's so great. I am wonderful. I was, I was so happy to get your text, Jay, reminding me to watch the concert this <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> I wish I would have had my cheese head hat. I would have put it on, too. It would have been great. It's so great to see you guys. Wonderful job. Great to be here. Thank you so much for joining us. A surprise to many it's of us. Wonderful. Right, <laughs> That's amazing. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> I'm happy to see you, Jay. Great guy. Amazing family. Wonderful time in Raleigh last year. If you've never been to a Raleigh Ringers concert at my Mandy Hall, after the pandemic's over, take the time to go. It's a great experience. It's wonderful. You need any more biscuits? Grits, you good? Farmers market yes. stuff. I do. Okay. I do. I, got I do. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Jay's my cooking mentor, my southern cooking mentor. <laughs> I try. I try. But thank you. This is an honor to be part of your concert. It's just an honor, and it's so exciting to be part of this and to watch it all go down. It's great. It's great. It's great to see everybody again too. Thanks. Great. Thank you for joining us. And now, as we thought we were going a minute ago, Jay, <laughs> it came upon a midnight clear. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you again, Sandy, for your wonderful work. Um, our holiday concerts over the years, over the 30 years we've been doing them, we've had a lot of special guests and a lot of special memories. Um, when Sandy's family came um, last year, uh, her husband arranged a very special reunion. Uh, she brought all her children except one, and uh, her son who was uh, deployed in uh, Hawaii in the army for, for a couple of years, she hadn't seen him in a couple of years. And we wanna show you a clip now of that reunion which we arranged thanks to Scott Ethan. Sandy, in appreciation for all you've given us through your music, we have just a little plaque and we've got a special presentation that we'd like to uh, bring forward here to bring you this plaque. Remember I mentioned there were three out of four that were here? <laughs> Sam? <laughs> Again, a very, very special moment. Um, moving along, we have had, uh, not that often in the group with our 90 plus uh, alumni, have we had family members uh, in the group? And um, we've had the occasion uh, very recently to have two brothers involved in the Raleigh Ringers. and. Um, you know, I would say there's just a little bit of competition between these between these brothers. Um, next, our, our next introduction will be done by Jay's brother, Cam Carter. If we can bring him in, there he is. Hi, I'm the younger Carter brother, and as Dave has intimated, the better ringer. That's what I heard. I'm sorry, Dave. That's what I heard. <laughs> this, this, this debate, this debate that keeps being being raised, I, I don't know. Let's, well, Jay, of course he's going to disagree. <laughs> Love you, brother. And so uh, before I introduce this next song, uh, I'm just going to give us a small behind-the-scenes look at uh, some of the practice we do. Sometimes we all need a helping hand in getting music uh, learned. Um, so for this, uh, Next piece, I use this to help practice a little bit. Oh, whoa, uh, okay, okay. There, see, there we go. Uh, some performative hands here. And so for our next piece, I want you to pay close attention to the soloists. Uh, we have the ensemble, of course, and wonderful flute player, uh, Ruth Brown, who is part of our ensemble as well. Uh, this is a Jethro Toll piece. Please, again, be on the lookout for our wonderful soloists at the top of the game. Ring out solstice spells. Thank you. 
as many of you out there know, we we enjoy playing a little bit of rock and roll. That one uh, let us do a little rock and roll, a little Christmas rock and roll. Thank you, Linda Boatwright from Nebraska, uh, who did that arrangement, and uh, we've really enjoyed playing that. I'm going to turn it over next to another RR alumni, and next we'll have Babs Marley do our introduction. Babs. Hey everyone, uh, my name is actually Barbara, but somehow I got the nickname Babs um, early in my time in Raleigh Ringers, and it's stuck even to this day. Um, I had the privilege of being in the Raleigh Ringers for 13 and a half wonderful years. Over the 20 year span from uh, 1996 to 2016. And those two particular years just happened to be the years that our annual summer tour took us to Paris, France. Pretty lucky for me. Hmm. Um, we were invited by Fred Grayman, who is the music director at the American Church in Paris, to help us uh, to help commemorate his 20th and 40th anniversaries in that position. We first met Fred in 1993 at a national handbell event and a special relationship developed thereafter. In the ensuing years, Fred has been our clinician for the Capital Area Handbell Festival four times. He has written for us over that time and he's been named our honorary associate director coming to rehearsals whenever he's in the area, which unfortunately isn't as frequent as we would all like. Among Fred's many extraordinary talents is his ability to weave tunes together, which is on full display in our next song. You will hear O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, Let All Mortal Flesh Keep Silence, and a Gregorian Christmas chant form a beautiful tapestry of music a la Fred. Please enjoy Veni Veni Emmanuel. Hey, I can't wait, wait to minute. hear it. I, I think we have another special guest. There's all the way from <gasps> Paris. There is Fred Grayman. <laughs> Hi, Babs. How you doing? Hey, wow. awesome. It's so fabulous to see you. Wow. It's wonderful to see you too. If you could do the concert a little bit earlier in the day, that would be nice for us in Paris, but it's okay. Yes. It's okay. I've never <laughs> stayed up this late in my whole life. I know, I know, it's way past your bedtime. I didn't figure that you <laughs> would, you know, be on at this time. <laughs> yeah, listen, I want to extend an invitation to the Raleigh Ringers uh, for my 50th anniversary, which will be 2026. So start saving and come to Paris for that, for my 50th anniversary, okay? He laughs. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Promise no pandemics, okay? <laughs> okay, so I'd Fred, like to hear the piece. Absolutely. Fred, Fred, thank you for all you've given to the group over the years, your trips to Raleigh, your invitations, and um, certainly your wonderful, wonderful music that we've been able to share. So thank you very much. And now I think we will actually go to Venny Venny. Take it away. Hey, Brad, I am. This is so awesome. <laughs> How are you? It's so exciting that you came on when
Thanks again to Fred for his appearance and for his wonderful music. Next, we're going to turn it over uh, to Christian Murphy. He's going to talk about some of what was going on this year in 2020. Thank you, Dave. My name is Kristen Murphy, and 2020 will mark uh, the sixth season that I've been with the Raleigh Ringers. Um, as you know, we've been on a bit of a rehearsal vacation since mid-March when the first stay-at-home orders went to effect here in North Carolina. So we, along with other members of the handbell community, spent much of the calendar year trying to figure out how to reinvent the traditional handbell performance to assure the health and safety of our ringers. An invitation from WARAL, a local news station here in Raleigh, last month gave us the opportunity to put all our pandemic performance research to the test. You see, since 1939, the city of Raleigh has hosted its annual Christmas parade on the Saturday before Thanksgiving, and that parade has been televised by WRIL since 1974. But this year, in lieu of the parade, WRAL hosted a virtual parade and asked the Raleigh Ringers to be one of the featured local artists. So of course we jumped at the opportunity. Several of us have been kind of going through a bit of handbell withdrawal. Uh, so the next piece in our program was one that was included in that virtual Christmas parade. You'll see that each ringer has their own table, stands at least six feet apart from other ringers, and uses equipment that has been fully cleaned and sanitized according to the manufacturer's instructions. You'll also see that we're wearing brand new handmade masks like this one, which we have for sale on our website in a variety of tie different tie dyed colors in addition to the Christmas one that as a matter of fact, match a lot of the tie dyed gloves that we have because who doesn't love it when your outfit matches with your gloves and your mask. So enjoy our masked, sanitized and socially distant performance of Sleigh Ride.
listen to Sleigh Ride, I thought back to preparing for last year's holiday concert, and who could have imagined that we would be wearing masks as part of our daily routine? Here we are in 2020, and now we coordinate our masks with our outfits, or as handbell musicians, maybe even our gloves. My name is Allison Kiesler, and I'm this year's president of the Raleigh Ringers. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our alumni for their comp continued participation in this organization. In the previous video, several alumni volunteered to step in and ring with the current membership to fill in some positions. Whether it's behind the scenes or in front of the curtain, we can always count on those past members to be there, ready to support the goals of our organization. The year 2020 has definitely presented many challenges for musicians in general, but I'd like to highlight some of the positive outcomes of this year. First, 2020 gave us the opportunity to connect with other handbell organizations from around the globe. We held a virtual community roundtable discussions on many different topics and were able to share thoughts and ideas with other handbell musicians. Secondly, this holiday season, we've been able to virtually watch so many other groups perform. In a normal year, we are so busy with our own schedules that it's hard to make it to one other handbell concert. And so far this month, I've probably watched six or seven other concerts as well as I've been able to watch our own um, performances that we've shown through the community group advent calendar. Such wonderful groups out there, and that has just been awesome to see. In closing, I'd like to thank our director, Dave Harris, for his continued support and leadership of the Raleigh Ringers. Dave, your entire Raleigh Ringer family appreciates you and what you do for our organization. Well, thank you for your kind words, Allison. Um, I want to take this opportunity as we get ready to close the program to thank everybody out there who's been watching from all around the world, actually. Um, what, what an honor for us that you have chosen to be with us on the holidays. So thank you very, very much. I want to thank the committee. Um, you met many of the committee members uh, that were some of our speakers, but the committee that uh, within the Raleigh Ringers that put, put together this presentation today, Lots and lots of hard work behind the scenes that made that happen. I'd like to thank our videographer, Jim, at Spreading Flames Media, who uh, provided all of that video from Mandy Hall over the years. He's been a great friend. Andy Punch helps us with audio as well. Um, today's uh, setup was especially coordinated by, uh, by a gentleman named Derek Nance. Um, who put together um, several things for the Guild recently and has done this um, for lots of handbell events. And I'd like to bring him into the picture. There he is. Uh, hey. And thank him for his work. Derek, thank you for uh, helping make this happen behind the scenes. I know you usually don't get on the, on the picture here, but we're happy to see you. And, um, and we're happy to, to, to thank you for all you've given us. But I wanted to mention, what is that shirt you have on there? Oh, I had to get in the spirit and break out the Virtuoso shirt from All back right. in the day. Derek was one of our first uh, attendees at our first Virtuoso. We got one, we're hoping and fingers crossed that we're going to do it again in June of next year, but a very special event for Advanced Ringers. And uh, Derek was part of that initial event and um, really uh, helped uh, talk about it a lot and put together a video. And we thank him for, for his support of that. So, and thank you today, Derek, for event. all you've done. No problem. I'm going to get back to pushing buttons now. <laughs> Very good. I also want to remind folks that uh, the PBS stations around the country will still be showing our program this year. Check our website for that in North Carolina on both the 19th and on Christmas Day, the 25th. There'll be uh, UNC TV will be showing our holiday special. Um, and like Allison said, we want to thank all the previous Raleigh Ringers who have who have gotten us to this point in our in our 30th year. So. Uh, without all of what you have done, uh, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. Uh, I ask all the uh, alumni, if you would, um, log your attendance in the, the comment section so we know who out there is a past Raleigh Ringer who is part of us today. That would be wonderful to see. Um, going back in history with, with our concerts, I mentioned we started way back in Peace College. All of our holiday concerts over the years have ended the same way, and that is 
with Silent Night. Um, we have different pieces that we lead into Silent Night, but we use Betty Garee's Steel a Knocked over the years, and, um, and we always will. Um, what we did this year was, um, was send out some candles. Um, these are what we hand out to our, our folks in the audience, and we sent these out to our donors. Um, so if they will turn these on now and be ready for Silent Night, lower lower your lights. But um, again, as An Angie mentioned earlier, if you'd like to, this concert was free today. So if you'd like to support the mission of the Raleigh Ringers, um, you know how to do that through the through the links that are down in the YouTube. Um, but certainly we appreciate everything that has happened this year with all of the wonderful folks who have helped us through our relief fund and have helped us get through this very, very difficult year. So. Uh, again, Merry Christmas to all of you out there. I guess there's well over 2,500 out there at this point. Thank you. We're honored that you're part of this program. And we're going to close the concert today with two uh, Betty Guri pieces, uh, the original way that we put this together. And this was done at our 25th anniversary. So you'll see a lot of past members of the Raleigh Ringers that took part in, in that special performance. God with us for all time, followed by Silent Night. Merry Christmas.